Now to a story you'll see on the one and only tonight. A man's beloved pet nearly killed by a neighborhood dog. That pet owner says police won't get involved, and he says they told him it's because of the pandemic. Local 10 News reporter Christian De La Rosa is live with the exclusive. Christian. Yeah, neighbors tell us police have yet to come out here and take a police report, and they're worried. Is this a side effect of the pandemic? If you look at these wounds, and you imagine these on, say, a five-year-old child, Tom Griffith says he was walking his dog Ginger near Coral Way Elementary on Southwest 14th Avenue. It's a pit bull mix. It was too big to be a pit bull. The guy yelled at me, I can't control the dogs. I wasn't sure what was going for me or the dog. The attack on Ginger was fierce and bloody. I kicked the dog three or four times as hard as I could. I honestly thought that she couldn't survive it. After getting her to a vet and a two hour long surgery, he says he spent days calling police, trying to file a report, but claims officers repeatedly told him they couldn't respond because it wasn't a priority in light of the pandemic. And that the only way they would, they would uh, uh, take a complaint is if a dog was loose and chasing you or chasing someone. Griffith says he's relieved Ginger is now recovering, but he's worried the attacker is still out there. People can get injured, killed. So we reached out to Miami police and they told us there's no reason why officers shouldn't have come out and filed this police report. Uh, we're working to get Mr. Griffith in contact with Miami police so we can sort this out. In the meantime, Mr. Griffith is hoping the owner of that pit bull is watching and can help him pay for the $1,500 vet bill. I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News.